Hey guys, welcome to the Old Ultra Runner channel. I'm your host Jay Tyner, and today I wanted to talk about my favorite running socks. The socks you wear are a very important part of making your running experience pleasurable. Uh, you want something that breathes well, that uh, will still be a, I mean some people run without socks and that's fine if, if you prefer that, but I, I prefer having socks on. Uh, it actually usually makes the shoe a little more comfortable. Uh, you don't, if there's any rough spots in the shoes, it, it tends to dull that uh, and, and prevent chafing or problems like that. Uh, you want something that's very very breathable, that uh, I, I like stuff that it is going to wear a long time and not uh, wear out. Uh, I also look for socks that don't break the paint for the most part. Uh, I do have a preference. I, I grew over the years to where I really like the, for my long runs, uh, the toe socks like in Genji. Uh, because I like that my feet can splay and I found the blistering is a little bit lower in these socks uh, Because you've, you've got material between each of your toes uh, your, to your toes aren't rubbing together and it helps prevent blistering Now I will say there are lots of good brands of socks out on the market um, I have tried uh, features dry max smart wool belega uh, lots of different brands and there are lots of good socks out there. Being that I, I have uh, tended to prefer the uh, toe socks, I had tried multiple different brands of toe socks. Um, most of them did not work out well for me for one reason or another. Uh, I have pretty well, until recently, stuck to just in Genji because uh, they wear well, they breathe well, they're made mostly out of, they have Cool Max as their main uh, ingredient in the, the actual fibers. They have spandex. Um, they work really well for me for long runs, uh, my ultra marathons and everything. Uh, and they, they fit well and uh, they wear well. Now some of the earlier iterations they were doing, uh, the thinner ones would wear out fairly quickly. Uh, they had that they just like right socks was a double layer sock uh, I think they've improved their technology too but I used to wear those out fairly fairly quickly uh, the first in Genji's I would wear through fairly quickly I have found their mid their mid weight socks now last and last a long time uh, the very good socks uh, and I have been using these now for years and they work really well for preventing blisters and keeping me comfortable. Now there are times that the, the disadvantage to toe socks is they are kind of a pain to put on and off, uh, put on and take off, and they do cost, uh, I think in Genji pairs are 13 to 19 dollars if you go to their website. Uh, so I, for shorter runs and for just wearing around the house or casually, I prefer not having toe socks because I don't like having to work them on put them on and everything so uh, other non toe socks that I've enjoyed have been um, dry max and features but what I have really fallen on that I buy primarily now is a brand called fit sock f-i-t-s-o-k and you can buy them straight from their website I first learned about fit sock um, running warehouse was selling so, uh, some socks that had their branding on it, it said Running Warehouse, but they were made by Fitsock. And I bought a, a pair for pretty cheaper price because it had the Running Warehouse logo on it. Uh, and I just found they were a thinner sock, but man, they wore and they, they lasted and lasted and lasted. And I, I think I probably got those 10 years ago and they're still good. So, uh, and now since then, I have learned that Fitsock will do branding for different uh, organizations or races. And I have received some in my race packets. Uh, this was from Trail Racing Over Texas. I got a pair of socks and it says Trot on the back for Trail Racing Over Texas. But you can see down on the bottom, it says that it's actually made by Fitsock. Anyway, these are uh, a thinner, I think a Cool Max based sock also. They have worn really well. Um, I, I, I've never been able to get a hole in my fit socks. 
So I have gone to FitSock and I bought several pair that uh, I used to, for my socks that I wasn't running, my super long distances, my toe socks, I would just go buy cheap cotton socks or a cheap synthetic uh, and I would wear them, but I never found that the cheaper ones really uh, were that they managed uh, moisture or heat that well and I, they always wore out real quickly. So I would pay $2 for a pair of cheap socks, but they would only last me six months and they would wear out. Well, I found the Fit Sock brand ordering straight from their website and I prefer just these CF2s. They, they sell several different models that are different thicknesses. The CF2s are like a mid-weight sock, uh, but they've got some cushion. Um, they've got some technology that uh, disperses the heat uh, and moisture. Uh, I have found them very comfortable. I've had very, pretty much no uh, blistering problems in these socks. And they actually come with a lifetime warranty. Um, on their website, it just says, take if you ever wear a hole through them or something, take a picture of it, send it to them, and they'll mail you a new pair of so socks. And I believe it. Uh, they're a USA-made company. Uh, they do charge, if you make an order from it, it's like $6 shipping, uh, not dependent on the size of your order from what I've seen. Um, I don't know what they charge or if they ship internationally, to be honest but uh, I've been very impressed with their socks. Um, right now, I looked on their website, there's a coupon code, I'm recording this on Jul Thursday, July 15th. They've got a coupon code across the, that's like USA 50. You get 50% off. And uh, a pair of these socks, it, whereas a whole lot of running socks run 10 to $15, $18, whatever. These you can buy three for twenty dollars, and then if you use the fifty percent coupon, you're basically paying just a little over three dollars per pair. So, they're awesome socks, uh, and I'm very impressed with them. Um, so, I'll run in my fit socks. I'll wear them around the house. I'll jump in and I'll do a run. I pretty much run in them up to ten miles. Once I start going over ten miles, I start going to my toe socks, like my Injinjis, and I've got several pairs, so I'm going to continue running in my Injinjis, and they've been wonderful socks. Now, the latest sock I have discovered that I really enjoy is there's a company, uh, Exoskin, and I was hearing so many good things about those that I uh, they make Exo toes, and like I said, the majority of the toe socks that I've tried in the past have not worked near as well as Injinji. But I wanted to try the Exoskin because I've heard that they're, they have a special weave in their fabric. Uh, they, they're copper infused and they don't smell after a run. Um, and they are very expensive. Uh, they actually make, Exoskin makes base layers and compression clothing. And I'm actually interested in trying it, but it is expensive. It is very pricey. And like the Exo toes are $24 per pair. Uh, but I wanted to try some so I have a couple pair. They are actually pretty thin, but they're very stretchy uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with them. Uh, they slip on and off. I think a little bit easier than the Njinji's um, I They so far have not worn at all for me. I've worn these this pair in a couple 50 mile races um, They don't they haven't worn through. They're not showing any signs of wear. They're very easy on and off. And it is pretty amazing. I finish a 50 mile run and I can pick up and the, st the socks don't smell. It's uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, so pretty much the rotation I have gone to is I'm using my fit socks for runs up to 10 miles. I'm using my Njinji's for longer runs, and then for my races, uh, I'm using my Exoskins, and I've got like two pair of them. Um, but the Njinji's I always bring as my, my backup pair in case I need to change during a race. Uh, if I want to, I'll usually have a pair of Fit Socks in my bag too, just in case I want to slip on something quick and easy and not have to uh, mess with the toe socks. Anyway, those are the... Uh, like I said, there are lots of good brands out there. There's lots of good socks, but I just wanted to give my opinion and, and tell you which socks work for me and which ones I use today. Uh, if you find this uh, useful at all, 
please hit the thumbs up button uh, to like the video. If you're interested in any more of my product reviews or my shoe reviews or my stories of my races, training tips, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, thank you for joining me today and keep moving.